Can you all look to your left? Look to your left. Please look to your right. Look backwards. Look at me. Why did I do this? Is because my father said, if I have moved the audience, then I would win. <laughs> Good evening, Connister, judges, fellow Toastmasters, and guests. I am Freedom. Son, tell your full name. Come on, tell your full name. Mom, there are a lot of colors here. Come, please don't ask me to tell my full name. No, they will be impressed. Come on, tell your full name. Okay. I am Yeramini Sri Subramanya Maruti Sai Kartika Madhava Pridam. <laughs> this has led me and the biggest troubles that I have ever faced in life. Having the biggest name made me a biggest failure. Right from my schooling to the airport check-ins, everyone was checking my name. My friends were astonished to see me stand up for the day when the teacher calls out for the roll call. I was a person who felt ashamed whenever I see my name come up. And the deepest fear I had was whether girls would talk with me or not as I had the biggest name. But God had different plans. I managed to have a girlfriend in my education. I impressed her by giving her a gift, a bunch of pencils. She was impressed. Isn't it a cute story? But my mother gave me one time slap after I narrated the story to her. She denied, she denied me to buy a gift, but my senior sister helped me in giving the gift to her. We managed to continue the LKG relationship till my fifth class. But she threw out the pencil because we started writing the pen after sixth class, like she did to me. We broke up. But then I thought the love chapter of my book of life ended. I wanted to open this book through Facebook, Instagram, reaching to millions of people. But no one reached to me seeing my profile name. I was single. I wanted to open this book of love again. I wanted to join a top university which will have beautiful girls whom I can reach. But as days passed, I lost the skill which God, God gave me of talking to girls and making them flatter. Then one day, girl was sitting on a seesaw. She was very beautiful. She had brown hair. I thank God for giving me that girl. I thought she was mine. I ran to her and thought of proposing her. I proposed her. Can you, can I find a place in your heart? I asked. She looked at me and said, Dude, you are the one who has the biggest name in our class, right? How pity. See, how, how did you manage so long? From a 10th class, how, how did you manage so big name? She played with my emotions. I, I, I saw her. She saw me. I always expected girls would come to me and talk. But they, all, they always saw me. Similar is the life. Life is a seesaw. It should be balanced. Sometimes she saws you. But... That should be a balance between what you do and what you achieve. I was, I was uh, given a suggestion to go to a temple and find out people whom I can get based on my name. But what I believe is we should not change our attitude and be ourselves to, uh, ourself to achieve what we are. You should not change yourself being liked by someone. Try to achieve the girl uh, whom you are thinking by being yourself. If you can't change the girl, then change the girl. What are the